Hey guys, this video I would like to unbox Samsung's NFC tip tiles. They are basically um, programmable NFC stickers. Uh, let's take a look at the packaging and some of the functions listed on the back. I'm not sure whether or not you can see them. Settings and apps, so you can use them to turn Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on and off to launch an app. Um, to you know, call um, a phone or to um, send a pre-written text message, to open a web page, to check into a place, um, you know, to connect on LinkedIn, to update your status, etc. So why would you want to use these? For example, you might put one in your car. So if you t if you um, tap your phone against it, it will turn Bluetooth on. Or you might put one on um, you know, your work desk, so when you tap it, it turns Wi-Fi on, etc. Okay, so here is what is inside the package. Uh, so we have the NFC tags, or NFC stickers, I should say, um, five of them. And we have a little bit of um, an instruction booklet. Okay, so I am now going to show you the Samsung Tactile app running on my phone. So as you can see there is the Samsung Tactile app. Now we have a few different configuration settings here, so I could go into settings and apps to you know change the phone settings to launch an app to join a Wi-Fi network to show a message, um, location and web you know to check into Foursquare, Facebook to open a web page, um, you know make a phone call, or send a text message, um, share a contact, and there are a few social media ones like to like a page on Facebook or to tweet a status to follow a Twitter user, etc. Um, so which one am I going to do? I might do the launch an app one. So for example, let's just say, um, I don't know, let's say I wanted to put one near the toilet. I could um, put one near the toilet and whenever I tapped the phone against it, it could open up Facebook. And that's just a joke by the way, I don't use my phone on the toilet. Okay, Facebook, so launch Facebook. And let's just do add action. Actually, no, nah, I only want that one action. So, program tactile. So, hold over tactile to program. Um, you can lock the tactile so it can't be rewritten. Um, I don't want to do that. Or you can write multiple tactiles um, with the same actions. Um, so, let's get one of the tactiles out of the package. Let's see if I can tear around without ripping the tactile. Oh, no, it's got a tear line. That's all good. So let's put the tactile there. I'm now going to hover the phone over it. Your tactile has been written. So let's just presume the toilet's over there. I'm going to the toilet. Let's see if it works when the phone is locked. Now I tap the phone. Not maybe it has to be unlocked. Let me unlock the phone. So I tap the phone. Reading tactile. This tactile will open Facebook. It even gives you a warning before it actually does it. This tactile will launch Facebook. Now let's see if I can go and reprogram the tactile. So I don't know, maybe I want to treat a status. Hello. So maybe whenever I get home I want to treat hello so I can get people's attention. Um, program tactile, put it on top, um, your tactile has been written. Now let's see what happens when I put, over, put it over the tactile. It is asking me how I want to complete the action. That's strange. Oh, it's opening a web page in Twitter. It's not actually doing it using the Twitter app, which is a bit disappointing. Though yeah, you um, get how it works. Um, let's see, is there another one that I can test? Um, open a web page. So I might want to open, I don't know, youtube.com. Program tactile. Go back to the home screen. And now it's opening the web page, youtube.com. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video really, are there any other good actions that I can show you? Make a phone call, send a text message. You know, I can't really see myself using these to be honest, I don't really have a need for them. 
So for example, you could um, put one of these, um, I don't know, anywhere. You could put one at your place of work and you could protect it so it couldn't be rewritten. And you could make it to, you know, like a page on Facebook or something like that. So, you know, whenever, you know, someone came up to it and tapped it, they would like your page on Facebook, etc. So I've got a feeling that um, a lot of these actions will open up in the web browser rather than the actual apps on the device, which is, you know, a little bit disappointing. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask me. There's a link to the product um, in the description below, as well as to the APK file. And thanks for watching.